Hello and welcome to Docplex's News. The National Secretary of the IMA's Hospital Board of India during a panel discussion claimed that 40% of Indian doctors experience some or the other form of violence in their professional life. He stated that 55 to 60% of resident doctors and 30 to 40% doctors in private practice are victims. He said that there is need to identify why these attacks take place and also stressed on the need for better communication and engagement with relatives of the patient. Recently, a 4-year-old boy was diagnosed with a rare co-infection of dengue and hepatitis A. The patient was admitted to the Bharti Hospital on 5th January where pediatrician Dr. Jitendra Oswal diagnosed and treated the boy. The doctor reported that the child tested positive for dengue antibody test. However, liver enlargement, high bilirubin and very high liver enzymes were not fitting in the diagnosis of dengue induced hepatitis. So we ran some more tests after which the boy tested positive for hepatitis A virus. Dr. Oswal added that the boy was treated successfully. The US FDA has recently approved the world's first smart inhaler. This new age smart inhaler uses a digital sensor that detects and measures the inspiratory flow rate in real time. The usage data from this digital inhaler is then sent to a mobile app that tracks patient adherence. Patients can also review the data on the app to know if they are using the inhaler accurately and can share the data with their healthcare professionals. Researchers from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Switzerland have developed highly flexible biocompatible micro robots that can swim through blood vessels to deliver drugs directly to the diseased tissues. These robots contain magnetic nanoparticles that can be controlled via an electromagnetic field. In addition, the shape of the robots can be programmed to facilitate easy movement through fluids that are dense, viscous, or flowing at a rapid rate inside the body. Since 2005, Nearly 17,000 clinical drug trials were conducted in the country in which 4,967 people lost their lives in various trials. Hundreds of patients were diagnosed for cancer, paralysis, asthma and skin related diseases. Considering the serious impact on the health of people in 2018, the Supreme Court had directed the center to come out with rules to regulate clinical drug trials on humans by pharmaceutical firms. But still, there are no such stringent rules that would control the clinical trials conducted across the country. The Union Health Ministry will soon be regulating prices of medical devices and implants. Almost 400 medical device prices will be reduced by 50%. This would also include BP, CT and MRI machines. Further, the center also plans to amend the Drugs and Cosmetics Act. It is expected that devices like pacemakers, hip and spine implants will get cheaper. The reduction in prices will be helpful to the needy patients as it will reduce their financial burden. The Indian Council of Medical Research conducted a study which revealed that only 30% of women between the age of 30 to 49 years have undergone cervical cancer screening. Further, the study discovered that 70% of these women were at third and fourth stage of cancer and 20% of them died within a year after diagnosis. The study highlighted the dormant state of healthcare as only 29% of women are screened under government programs. According to the health ministry, India accounts for approximately 97,000 new cases of cervical cancer and over 60,000 deaths every year. In this regard, government officials revealed that lack of awareness coupled with reluctant nature about screening, shortage of infrastructure, and limited access to screening and treatment services have led to this state. 
They further highlighted the importance of early diagnosis for reducing the increased number of cervical cancer deaths in the country. We urge our community to share their recommendations for encouraging women to take up cervical cancer screening by commenting below. These were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by DocPlexus, one of the largest online communities of doctors. Stay tuned for more every Thursday at 6 p.m. Happy DocPlexing!